What is the real reason so many men commit sexual assault? Looking at my circle of friends and their abusers. 1. Father was a pedophile with an opportunity 2. Father was a pedophile with an opportunity 3. Uncle was a pedophile with an opportunity 4. They had fought. He was using violent sex to punish her. Girlfriend, boyfriend. 5. She was having endometriosis pains. And he had traveled an hour to see her. Girlfriend, boyfriend. So he forced sex 6. He wanted to steal the high school flirt's virginity and tell all the boys. He followed her out of a party. Threw her down. Rammed it in then ran off laughing. That's just a handful of individuals and a singular incident from each. These are the ones I know but I do know that not one of these was escalated, reported to any authority. I don't think porn was a motivator in any of those. Just entitlement and dominance. A lot of the times rape isn't violent from their perspective. The reason we have to teach men not to rape is because rape isn't usually a woman being attacked by a stranger in a dark alley. It's a friend who's been waiting for his chance to get with her now that she's finally dropped her guard and gotten drunk around him. It's the ex-husband who thinks he knows what his ex needs and won't stop pawing and demanding. Nuanced debate as to why logically they shouldn't have sex while actively assaulting her. It's the older man who knows that 17-year-old can totally make an adult choice and she's just mature for her age. Most rape is committed by people the victims know. And most rapists don't consider themselves rapists because they didn't have to hold down a screaming and fighting victim. They feel entitled to sex either because they believe the person was leading them on. They are entitled to their body in some way. Or they are selfish enough they just don't care to hear the, no. There's a lot of different reasons. Pretty much any older man I asked for dating advice told me not to take no for an answer. Be persistent. Keep trying. Earn it. On and on. Eventually I decided to quit talking to older men about dating because their advice was basically to ignore consent from beginning to end. Research shows that rape is primarily an act of power and control and secondarily a sexual act. If this is any help, my rapist said he raped me to teach me a lesson because I was slutty. I was underage and he was not. It was him and his friend. Fucked up thinking. But hey, no rapist has a healthy mindset. Right? Power. Rape is about power not sex. Same thing that is the root for most other evils. High impulsivity. Low social, emotional intelligence. Something that allows them within the Maslowian needs of their society, culture and their own identity. In most cultures, societies men learn from a very young age that the world is theirs and so that they do not need impulse control nor do they need social, emotional intelligence. As well, their assault isn't about the victims it's about the easy, power boost they gain to the categorization, patterning of themselves by doing such things. FTR porn has been blamed of male violence like forever and is not correlated to statistics on said violence. So, your gut is totally right on it being a ridiculous argument. I believe there are four motivations for rape. I can't name them off the top of my head but one is violence and one is control. There's a couple others. Look up the criminology it's very interesting. The reason is a sense of entitlement. At the end of the day, I do it because I want to. I can. And you can't, wouldn't, shouldn't, aren't expected to do anything to stop me. This is usually not even consciously evil. Just a matter of factly expression of a deeply misogynistic worldview. You, Poetic Souls comments say it better than I could have. Now. The thing with porn has more to do with how repeated exposure to certain popular kinds of internet porn, which BTW, 
is another league entirely from older erotic materials like magazines. Combined with male socialization in our current society, can lead a man to be more likely to have certain beliefs and worldviews regarding their own sexuality. In that sense, it's not so much similar to the moral panic around violent video games in the 90s, and more akin to the very real product placement and army propaganda in AAAFPSs. For example, a man that has been socialized to have a sense of entitlement and general lack of empathy, as sadly much of us were to some extent, will be forcefully pavloved by internet porn and the stimulus of orgasm to amplify those traits to sex and what he sees when jerking off. Women in porn are always DTF. Women in porn won't ever say no. They can't ever say no. They're not jealous. As a matter of fact, they're entirely disposable. That is seen as a feature. They're always there at a whim. A click away. When you're a teenager developing an understanding of how sexual affective relationships work in society that can end up becoming the norm what you're used to. And well, ever wondered why all of a sudden, or in the last few decades at least, which is sudden in the larger scheme of things. Most men are obsessed with anal, facial cum shots, deep throating, and hairless vulvas? This is likely why. As a matter of fact, women have their own set of consequences due to rising consumption of internet porn. For example, voluntary, non-medical labiaplasties have multiplied in the last couple of decades around the world, mostly due to the increased exposition to vulvas exclusively with inner labia minora, which lead to body shaming towards vulvas with protruding labia minora, which, mind you, are around half of all vulvas. Combined with a female socialization that already lent itself to cause bodily shame in women. And I mean, no offense, but your comment sounds awfully similar to the boomers who say, I was spanked as a child and I turned out all right. So what's the harm? There is harm in spanking. We've come to realize. And so there is with the supernormal stimulus of current internet porn. Because bad people who can get away with bad things do bad things. Humans have some bright spots, but by and large we are a trash species. Porn doesn't cause sexual assault, but it does assist in objectifying women. With video games, you pretty much turn your brain off. With porn, you're actively engaged, wishing you were doing that. Because they can with very little happening in the way of consequences. The thing is, rape is usually about power and domination over a victim. Being male, yes I did say male, or female, I don't believe porn is causing increased numbers. But rather not making reports to the authorities is causing the problem to escalate. And yes, I am a victim of both sexual abuse and rape. I was subject to sexual abuse from the age of 7 eighths until I was about 13. When my oldest brother went into the military, I was raped by a school teacher, who was a family friend, and I really wish I had turned him into police. Unfortunately, he would have had the advantage because of being older. I work in Title X investigations and my take is that a lot of it is lack of education, particularly on consent. We don't see many violent sexual assaults. Instead they are sexual encounters, typically with alcohol or drugs involved, wherein one party either doesn't feel comfortable saying no, or isn't given a chance. The respondent isn't always an evil actor, but instead an uneducated, horny, kid who is causing harm because he or she wasn't taught about consent. Sexual frustration plus violent tendencies equals rape. Rape isn't motivated by sex. It's motivated by power. Men have more power. Everyone gets horny but it's most often bosses, teachers, doctors, cops, older family members, 
are general people in positions of power that do it. And men have those positions of power because of the patriarchy. The link between porn and men's sexual assault is they're not realizing that they're raping. They take signals that they've seen in porn as consent when they're not. So they think it's all above board while the woman is feeling violated. They want to have sex. It's the same reason why people steal. They see something. They want it. So they take it. If they think they can get away with it. Why wouldn't they try? And they do get away with it. A lot. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.